What are the Las Vegas Raiders going to do about the quarterback position? That's a million dollar question, isn't it? Well, it's worth more a little more than that these days, but they have to find one with Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert in the AFC West. So what do they do? Is trading up into the top three in round one a good idea? The Chicago Bears are going to ask for an insane amount of draft capital. The Washington Commanders don't want to trade down at all, and the New England Patriots don't know what they want to do, and the price isn't going to do anything but go up the closer we get to draft day. Well, what do you think of Justin Fields coming to Las Vegas? According to NFL insider Tony Pauling, the Raiders are trying to make that happen. I think this can actually work out for the Raiders. First, let's dispel the notion that the Raiders want nothing to do with Fields because Lou Getze is the offensive coordinator here now. According to Raider insider Hondo Carpenter, Getze and Fields don't have any problems with each other. The problem was head coach Matt Eberflus, a defensive coach, micromanaged the offense and put limits on what Getze can do. Getze couldn't run what he wanted, so Getze and Fields were frustrated about that, not each other. Of course, Getze took the blame and was fired, but what do you expect? Eberflus to fire himself? Since the two parted ways in Chicago, Getze has had nothing but good things to say about Fields. He said, like I said when I was there, he's one of the best human beings I've ever got to work with. The mentality he brought every day, the consistent approach, the kind of man he is. It was a blessing to work with him. He was someone that just came to work every day and got better, and I think he'll continue to do so. That doesn't sound like a guy that doesn't want to coach Fields. It could very well have been Getty that sparked the Raiders' interest in Fields in the first place. Fields would be in a much better situation with the Raiders than he was in Chicago. His offensive line with the Bears wasn't very good. I told everyone that would listen that Tevin Jenkins was a guard because he had slow feet and short arms. The Bears obviously didn't hear me when they took him in the second round in 2021 and made them their franchise left tackle. He's a guard now, but mistakes like that through the years made the Bears finish number 26 in pass blocking efficiency last year. At the same time, receiver D.J. Moore is the only weapon Fields had. With the Raiders, Fields would have an offensive line that finished number 6 in pass blocking efficiency last year. He'd have running back Josh Jacobs in the backfield, so play action would suck the defense in too. Then, of course, he'd have superstar receiver Devontae Adams to throw to. He'd also be able to use that big arm of his to throw deep to speedster Trey Tucker. Oh, and I can't wait to see what Titan and Michael Mayer does for the Raiders next season. The defense is banging over there too. If there's such thing as a perfect situation for a quarterback to go into, it's the Raiders. If Getsy and the Raiders get fields going, he'll be special. The guy has a big arm so he can get it deep to his guys for quick strike scores. Tucker with his speed and Adams with his route running will get open deep and Fields has the arm to take advantage. He runs a 4-4-40 so he can run it in from anywhere on the field too to give his team a quick strike score. That's a luxury though. What the Raiders really need is for Fields to extend plays and drives with his legs and he can do that. The Chiefs have Mahomes and the Chargers have Herbert to make those kinds of plays. They don't go in the stat book but those types of plays are the equivalent of extra possessions because you made a first down out of a punting situation. You could turn sacks into scores too. Fields would even the playing field in that department after the Raiders have been at a disadvantage with the Chiefs and Chargers in it for so long. They run a good amount of man coverage in the AFC West, so Fields will be able to exploit it with his arm and legs. It also helps that Fields knows the offense. It really helps when it's the West Coast offense with all that verbiage. Fields definitely needs to put in some work and get better, but this can actually work. From what was reported about the situation, Getsy never really had a chance to do what he wanted to with them. Fields still managed to get a little better at that. If he came to the Raiders, that would give Getsy a chance to do what he wants with them because Pierce is going to let his coach his coach. So if Getsy believes in Fields, I think the Raiders should make the move. They would only have to give up this year's second round pick. I wonder if they would take Jacoby Myers in the third round pick. <laughs> Either way, the kid still has a chance to be good and it would be for a much smaller haul. Thank you for watching. See you next time.